so the topic today is breastfeeding let's talk about breastfeeding guys hey lovelies welcome back to our channel this is heaven and i'm old jen so um, in today's video we are going to talk about breastfeeding as for me this is the first time mom yeah this is my first child my first baby and today we are going to talk about breastfeeding the first feeling that i got well um, when the first time i breastfed the first feeling i i, I got i remember i was from the theater cause I gave back through a c-section so after coming from the theater they told me you first put your baby on the breast to feed and it was really very like I when she started breastfeeding like when she started feeding on the <laughs> feeding I, I felt like some tickles something like it was tinkling me on the breast you know, I felt like it wasn't normal, something that you're not used to. <laughs> something that you're not used to. So I wasn't used to it. So I felt really, it was like, as, a, as the first time, it was really, I felt some tickles. It was tickling huh? while the baby was feeding on the breast so i spent like two days without having breast milk so and then i got the breast milk on the third day but between those two days i got some i got some wounds on the breast on the nipples of the breast the wounds surrounded the nipples i always thought much pain i had to put the baby on the breast to feed i had to feed her even though i had no i had no breast milk but you know they told my mom told me that i need to feed the baby thoroughly every minute like every part every after five minutes I have to feed her so I had to feed her even though I had no breast milk so that the I the you know this breast they produce milk according to how the baby consumes the milk so you have to feed her every after like you have to set your minutes so I had to feed her every after like five minutes I had to feed her like every after five minutes so she had like I had pain I, I to the extent I thought that she was even taking blood she was you know she was feeding I was feeding her blood from the nipples because the nipples were uh, surrounded by wounds so I thought that she was taking I was feeding her blood because I oh it was really very painful I got that breast milk after like three days. After getting those bre that breast milk, um, the wounds started fading away. Yeah, so the wounds healed. I met with my nipples. So it passed like a month. It passed like a month while I was breastfeeding. I didn't feel any pain at all while breastfeeding because I had like very very much breast milk like my breasts i couldn't even wear any bra i couldn't put on any bra like there is no bra even the largest bra couldn't fit my breasts because it was very big and the breasts like they were like reaching the thighs very big very okay let me see if they were like dairy because they were very big here and long up to the thighs so i didn't feel any pain you know they were breastfeeding but after like a month i started feeling pain while bre breastfeeding so she starts feeding without even having wounds so i get that pain even now even now whenever i'm breastfeeding i get that pain here like i think there is something that keeps milk breast milk in the breast here i think 
the store of the milk is located here and that's where the milk is produced or uh, manufactured so the breast the breast milk that's what i thought because you are talking about breastfeeding today that's what i told i i, I thought so the milk whenever the the milk is coming so the baby is feeding then i start feeling pain coming down 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 to the nipples then she starts like because i have too much breast milk that's why she's shabby she's so fat she, i only breastfeed her so i have much breast milk so whenever she's feeding on the nipples she starts like struggle, struggling with the milk it even chokes her sometimes the breast milk sometimes chokes her and she starts coughing so whenever she's feeding i always feel pain that pain sometimes it's much sometimes it's less sometimes it's moderate so that's the only obstacle that i'm facing the pain while breastfeeding so right now i have no problem in breastfeeding because i'm used to it it's not like how it was i no longer feel tickles on the nipples what i use to open the soles of my breasts the the soles of the nipples first thing first thing that i learned first thing you have to breastfeed your baby for like after five minutes or after ten minutes you have to set your minutes yeah? like breastfeed every after 10 minutes five minutes those minutes that you you have to breastfeed like thoroughly every time breastfeeding if you don't have breast there is something that tells the breast that there is someone needed to be breastfed so the breast produce produce the breast milk according to how you feed your baby according so if you breastfeed like thoroughly also the breast milk will be produced much sometimes it's enough for the baby sometimes it's the baby cannot even finish the whole of it so that's the first thing that i learned second thing what i use yeah i whenever i wake up in the morning i first cook my milk cow's milk i cook even if i take like a cup a cup of cow's milk it's enough so i take a cup of cow's milk don't forget to put in sugar everything that you drink put in sugar sugar helps a lot in making breast milk but second thing i make porridge millet flour porridge yeah if you want me to do it in my next video so that i can teach you how to do it so i cook millet flour porridge like five cups if i'm not going to work like five cups put in sugar don't forget sugar then be drinking on that the whole of the day if not that one i'm going to work i drink like i take like three cups of millet flour porridge in the morning then that breast milk is enough for the day so right now since she's growing and making moments sometimes i lose like the breast milk is not how it used to be in the first month so it is reducing because the longer the baby grows so the breast milk reduces but as mothers we just have to take care of ourselves drink a lot so these are the things that i use for me as panel for my breast but the thing that helped me in the beginning when i was looking for breasts I took, you know, there is this meat that we call with the cow's intestines. We wash them and cook them, boil, we drink them, and then we make breast milk. What opens the soul is giving your baby breastfeeding her thoroughly. Maybe like five minutes or ten minutes. Help me a lot. Another thing that I use to make breast milk was when i get tired of the others i always change i drink silver fish yeah i eat silver fish they cook it boil boiled like you place the silver fish you wash the silver fish put in water 
put in um, some onions and also salt and you cook it just cook it it boils and you drink yeah so i use also silver fish um soup yeah silver fish soup so another thing that helps i just hear from people i've never used it as for me i've, ne I've never used it but that's um our you know our grandmothers and mothers what they told they tell us to use uh is sour berries or oh, african african egg blends oh sour berries there's more like this i'm gonna place the, the the it's how it looks at the end of the video you know whatever i've talked about i'm gonna place the pictures at the end of the video of how they look some they call them bitter berries so they cook them they wash them pour water cook them then they smash them put in salt and drink and also eat so they say that they make lots of breast milk i've never used them but i've always used the silver fish millet flour porridge and also cow's milk for those i'm a hundred sure that they do they work miracles and also cows intestines they make lots of breast milk so that's what i use and i'm hundred percent sure because also god's prayers you can pray oh god please help my baby to have breast milk so that she can be breastfed because for me i pray with my baby every morning every morning some of the mornings whenever she wakes up i say oh god provide for her the breast milk for the day and she only feeds on breast milk just first up show them i'm here say i am here <laughs> <laughs> so if you feel like you don't have enough breast milk because there are some people who like try and they fail but i i think that some people who try and fail to get breast milk they're those who have had like three kids before and this is the fourth kid or fifth kid yeah sometimes they they don't have enough breast milk but if it's your first kid second kid that kid yeah and you try that you will have what to feed your child you always have what to feed your child if you don't have what to feed your baby like yeah you can use formula formula is the best way to feed our babies you can use formula i have never used it i have not i don't even know how it looks like but someone i always hear it because i have my sister she's studying okay she's studying she's studying nursing and midwifery so she takes care of mothers and also their babies they use formula to breastfeed uh, to feed the babies sorry they use formula so you can use formula to feed your baby it's also not a bad bad choice it's not a bad you know it's not a bad thing you can use it to feed your baby so um i think that's it for today thank you very much for watching guys so this is sour soap it is also a fruit it helps in making breast milk this this is millet flour porridge these are bitter berries yeah and these are the cow's intestines thank you for watching guys bye bye